Come on in, welcome to my home. Today, I first want to start off by saying if things look a little bit different in this video or sound a bit off, there are lots of things going on right now. Um, as some of you may or may not know, my mom fell and broke her arm and she has to have surgery. So you might see me changing outfits through things or things might go, I don't know how long this will take because I don't know if I'll have to go over and help her at any moment. So we will see, but today, we are making a lime cheesecake. This is so easy, this should help nourish her because she's going to need to gain some weight because since she broke her arm, she hasn't been eating well and I know that this should work. We're going to start off with the crust. Now last week, we made, uh, we made uh, sweet limes or candied limes. If you click that, uh, that card, it'll take you to that day, but this week we are making the cheesecake and it's really, really easy. We are going to start off with our crust, and everything is written down below in the description. All that recipe is there, but the thing to remember is this is a no-bake, which that's what we need. So I have my graham crackers. I'm going to add my sugar, my lime zest. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of lime zest. I, I realize that's a lot of lime zest, and believe me, it took me some time to zest those limes. Then I'm going to add some sea salt, just a nice pinch. Now is a great time to mix all of this up, so that, that way we don't have the lime zest clumping together. Then I'm going to add my melted butter. Once again, you're going to want to mix this up. Make sure to get this as incorporated as you can. I think the lime zest in the um, graham cracker crust is going to be so cool. I've never done that before. And yes, I forgot to say, this is a recipe that we are doing for the first time because when I would have tested this recipe was when we were in and out of emergency rooms and that sort of thing. Oh, it smells good. Once you have that all incorporated, I'm going to put it into a springform pan. You're going to need a springform pan. At first, I'm going to level this out with my spatula. Then I'm going to take a handy dandy cup and pack that down. I'm going all the way to the edges, making sure that we get this as packed down as we can. It really smells good. I mean, honestly, this smells so, so good. I might have to try adding like lemon zest to my, uh, lemon no bake cheesecake. Once you have your crust all in, once you have your cookie, so it looks like a cookie all in there, I'm going to put this into my freezer. And next we are going to start our filling. All right, now it's time to make our filling and this is so easy. I have my cream cheese, now my cream cheese is at room temperature, really at room temperature. All right. Dump that in there. I'm going to get that going. Add in my sugar. Remember, all the ingredients are listed down below. Lime juice. That's freshly squeezed lime juice. You can actually use uh, the limes that you zest it. Vanilla. Now our goal is to mix this until it becomes fairly smooth. This is going to take a while. As with everything, every once in a while, give it a good scrape. While this is mixing, I do have my uh, whipped cream or heavy whipping cream in the freezer. I'm gonna give it another good scrape. Mix it in some more. Then taking my whipping cream out of the freezer, I'm going to start adding it to the mixture. Now we're going to beat this until it gets thick and pretty smooth. Once our mixture is thick, <laughs> once our mixture is thick, I will pull out my springform pan with everything else I have in my freezer for upcoming recipes. 
give this a nice scrape. Now we're going to pour this into our form. Then I'm going to use my offset spatula just to smooth that around. Now I'm going to place this into the refrigerator and let it chill for about two hours. However, I'm going to give it a taste. That is good. That is really good. I'm going to take our cheesecake out of the refrigerator. Ooh, that looks good. Now, I'm going to place our candied limes on top of the cheesecake. No, no real order. I'm going to quickly unmold my cheesecake. Take off a small wedge. All right, let's give this a taste. It has the perfect lime taste. I love the lime in the uh, crust. It's very crunchy. It's very good. I think you're going to like this. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at Sam Coleman Home. Don't forget to check out our Patreon where you get this and other videos early. And we also have a weekly wrap up. You can also become a member where you get the behind the scenes shots and all those fun things which go along with us. And like I said, by the time you see this, mom will have had her surgery. Everything will have hopefully turned out great and you'll know you'll hear about it. I want to thank everybody for their comments and concern. I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by.